I noticed that Chong was low on his energy and that Cheech was overly nurturing him. It was almost as though Cheech was trying to tell us something. There we go. But there is a pretty big, firm swelling in here. When I finally saw the size of the lump on Chong, I was completely in shock. I've never seen anything like that before. What we're going to do is go in and do a biopsy so they can tell us exactly what it is. There's nothing that we can do at this point except to wait and hear from the vet and see what's wrong with Chong. was inoperable cancer, and it was just devastating. I knew then that the dream and the hope of them finding an adopter that was going to be able to deal with that situation was slim to none. Hi, boys. So it was, at that point, up to us. Good job. So we sent them to go live with the twins. Ready for your new home? Yeah. <laughs> One part of me was happy for them, but the other part, you know, knowing what the final outcome would be someday, it was, it was really upsetting. Well, go ahead and let them off their leash. They deserved nothing but the best, you know, and we gave them just that with what we had to work with. Chong did do well for a few months. But then the inevitable call came. Hello? Hello? Yeah. reason to be sorry. You did everything. You did everything. <laughs> you know, we never did find Chong his forever home. That was a hard pill to swallow. You know, we just took on the responsibility ourselves to find Chong his final resting place. Uh, he was crying. As sad as it was for Chong, I also had to think about his brother Cheech. You're in a lot better place now. I had to look forward. I couldn't let Cheech down. You know, he had been through a lot too, and he deserved his happy ending. And in season six, he got one. He found an incredible home with his own beach right there to, you know, run around on. Come on, you can do it. You know, seeing him begin a new life without his brother, you know, it was surreal. Cheech, you came from the deserts of California to the swamps of Louisiana. Yeah, to, all the way across the country. To this, you know, you do worry. But true to Cheech form, he had his own way of letting me know that it was going to be OK. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the call. Oh, cool. cool. All right, bud. We can't deny that Cheech has been something really special. <laughs> You're bringing me all yeah. this way. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, Cheech and Chong have been such a big part of our life, and they've been through so much with us. Come on, Cheech. You be good. You be good, okay? okay. You be good. Bye. 
Don't cry because you're going to be crying. I know. <laughs> I, I love him. I'm so happy. I'm so happy for him. And his story was complete. A year later, Cheech was loving the beach life. He settled into his new home with Jordan and Evan like he had been there his whole life. Yeah, we love having Cheech. He's just fit in really well. He's super easygoing. He's kind of like a human soul. It's this weird thing, I'm telling you. Cheech is goofy and lovable and all of those things. We love having him as part of our family. Good boy. Good boy, Cheech. Good boy. 